meeting up with a secret YouTuber friend of ours who might be the only person we know who likes filming the beautiful California countryside more than us. Josh from California Through My Lens. If you've planned a trip out here, there's no doubt you'd have come across some of Josh's work. He does all of the secret little places that only a local knows, and he goes to loads of different places across the whole of California, whereas we usually kind of only go to the big ones, don't we? Right now he's got 200,000 subscribers, but I'm sure that's going to keep on going up. And if you haven't followed him yet, why not do it now? We're off to meet Josh at a winery in Temecula, somewhere we've never been before. So we're excited to find out what someone who knows everything about California has got to offer. Wine grapes have only been growing in Temecula since the late 1960s. It's fast becoming Southern California's Napa Valley and within easy reach for people in LA and San Diego. Today, there are more than 50 wineries in the region. Wilson Creek is one of the most famous. You can find its wines on sale all over the country, but it's most well known for its sparkling offering. Let us know if you find a bottle this big anywhere else though. The whole family were excited to meet Josh, who's made himself the number one expert on YouTube when it comes to California. As you can imagine, we've got lots in common. So Josh, thank you very much for meeting up with us. Um, first of all, tell us a bit about your channel. What kind of stuff do you make? Yeah, so I make two YouTube channels right now. I have California Through My Lens and just Through My Lens. Um, one's focused specifically on the state of California. One's just general travel, road trips, things like that. I also run a blog and social channels and all that good stuff. <laughs> and you're doing pretty well, aren't you, at the moment? Tell us about how you're getting on. Yeah, I mean, it's been my full-time job for almost five years now, so I, I can't really complain. I get to, to travel and create content and experience new places and share them with people. It's a, it's a pretty good gig. And what I love about your work is that you really make it like a local's idea and local's guide to it, which is really cool. So with our kind of stuff, we do kind of the big ones that everyone from Britain might want to see but you go and find all the little tiny trails and things like that what are kind of some of your most favorite kind of smaller ones or your favorite Californian trips that you go on yeah I mean most people come to either San Francisco or Los Angeles so those places are both good I love San Francisco especially a really cool city to explore but the nature is really what um, California has to offer especially to visitors so being able to go to the national parks there's nine of them here there's one that's islands off the coast of California there's Yosemite there's Death Valley, you know, it's like these places that people around the world have heard of and those are some of the most beautiful things that California has to offer. So I always say like, you know, if you come visit a city, try to at least get to like one of the national parks while you're here, you know. And what I love, he's forensic. He'll tell you where exactly where to like go. Forensic CSI or something. <laughs> <laughs> He'll tell you when to go, when the best time of the year is, uh, what roads to take. It's really good detail, so do definitely check him out if you're over here. Um, what are some of your favorite places? That you've been to what, what would you say that you've been uh, in california done? yeah i mean like pacific coast highway which i know you guys have some his, his content you can click click over <laughs> here and see it but i mean that's an amazing uh, quintessential american yeah. road trip you know um and then that big sur coast area especially is just absolutely incredible um obviously there's a great culinary scene there's a great wine scene we're at a winery right now um california kind of has a little bit of everything it's kind of Kind of an amazing place to be. Exactly, and that's why I've fallen in love with it so much. This little guy from Britain who's now in, fallen in love with this huge state, which is amazing. Probably even got some good fish and chips here for the... <laughs> can they make good fish and chips in America? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just don't putting know. it out there. <laughs> but they can make really good wine slushies. Ah, uh, yes, out wine today. slushies. <laughs> um, and, yeah, tell us about Temecula, which is what you brought, brought us to today. Yeah. Famous for the wineries, I guess? Yeah, I mean, it's a really cool like, kind of up-and-coming winery area, especially because it's close to L.A. and San Diego, which are obviously two of the most popular cities here so tons of wineries in this area some good historic charm um, it's just a it's a fun kind of in between driving from LA to San Diego it's like stopping Temecula you know have a glass of wine get some food nice little town and what we're gonna go to Temecula tonight where should we hang out what should we where should we go yeah so obviously the wineries are a big draw which uh, you've already experiencing here but um, the old town kind of historic area has got some fun restaurants and stuff so that's a good place to explore and plus close to the freeway so you can you know, hop back on and get back to where you're going. But yeah, I'd probably do that. Cool. Sounds good. 
Right, we're off to finish our drinks and then get into Temecula itself. Cheers. Cheers. Temecula feels like no other place we've been to in Southern California. The old town feels more like a gold rush offering from the north. The reason for that is its stagecoach routes from the 1850s. It was one of the favoured stops and kept much of its traditions because it was so far out from the big cities. This means there's more character in this one main street than many other cities. The cars can be quite retro too. There are loads of great restaurants and bars to choose from. We all wanted Mexican food tonight, so ate at the bottom floor of what looks like an old saloon. Sammy's favourite tip, always remember to go to a Mexican restaurant so then you can get free chips. Yum yum. Walking this street is worth the visit in itself. There are so many independent shops selling local wares and produce. It would be a perfect place to come for food and shopping after a day of wine tasting or golf. If you're looking for a wilder evening, head to Pachanga's Casino, which has a Vegas style resort. With over a thousand rooms, it's currently the largest casino on the West Coast. It has Las Vegas luxury with cabanas and pools, and you're still only an hour away from San Diego or Los Angeles. We'll have to come back and do a proper video on Temecula, as it only feels like we've just scratched the surface. We hope you enjoyed our whistle-stop tour of Temecula more than Jude did. Remember to subscribe to Josh's channel as well. We've got loads more California videos for you to have a look at. Take a video! <laughs> Bye!